Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. And Happy New Year. I hope you have a fantastic time and you have this new year starting strong with a nice posture. And remember that all the time is going to be bad and good things during the year. So let's get ready for this year. And remember, it's important to take care of your body, take care of your mobility. As much as we stay on the couch and we don't do nothing, our muscles, we're going to be stiff, tight. We're going to feel bad. So don't wait too long when you start to do small things. Remember that my classes are just short classes. Those I need to have super flexibility or super yoga poses. This is only to regain mobility and have better posture, keep our joints healthy as well, that we don't put too much pressure on our joints in our daily activities. So it's only a few minutes. So are you ready? We're going to start standing today. So we're going to start with our feet. So let's start like at the year, you know, we start January, we end in December, the end of the year. So here we're going to start with our feet all the way into our head. So we're going to start with our feet. We're going to just lift the right heel, pressing your feet down, and we move down. We try to spread the toes and press with the ball of your feet and your big toes. And again, when you lift the heel, try to push the ball of your feet to help to stretch more your toes. And we're just going to go simple. We're going to take a couple of breaths. Breathe in. And out. It doesn't matter if at the moment the movement is not with the breath. We are just waking up our body after all the parties starting this week. The, always in January and we don't feel too energetic to keep going. But let's start moving our body. So let's go again for just two more in each side. Left. And we go right. And we go left. Fantastic. We're going to move our hands behind the head. Open your elbows. We're just going to stretch towards to the right side. We take a breath. Breathe in. And now back to center. Now let's go other side. When we're going sideways, we try to press the big toes on the ground to give us more stability. And back again. Let's go one more time. Take a breath. Breathe in. And now back to center. Other side. Take a breath. Breathe in. And now, drop your arms. We're going to open a little bit wider our feet. And we're just going to swing our arms just to give us some mobility into our body. And let the knees as well move a little bit with the hips. And we just go just to warm up. So, again, I love to warm up the body before a stretch is important. More if you're doing it in the morning. In the morning, we don't feel that much flexible so it's good to start with some mobility and let's go just here for four and three and two and last one fantastic we breathe in bend your knees arms up breathe out bend your legs and drop your arms breathe in breathe out through your mouth breathe in out through your mouth. One more. And move your legs together. Relax your shoulders. We're going to take a couple of breaths. Breathe in. This time, we're going to move our arms down as we exhale through the nose, moving your wrist. Just a nice circle. Great. Let's go again. Breathe in. And breathe out. Fantastic. Now we're going to change the direction of the movement. So we go breath in and start to go forward. We go backwards. Okay, we need concentration. For me, I need concentration just to release your wrist. Great, everybody. Again, breath in and let's go opposite. Again, it's to sensibilize our body. Again, stimulate the somatic nervous system. Just one more, breathe in, and out. well done, 
fantastic. We're going to start. You can move at the front of your mat. I'm just going to stay in the middle so you can see me. We're going to start spine roll. Remember, if you are super flexible, it's okay. You keep your legs straight. But if we don't feel good and we feel pain on the legs, we're going to bend the knees. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out. We're going to go spine roll. We can bend our knees to allow us to go all the way. Breathe in at the end. And breathe out, roll up your spine. I love this exercise in the morning, even at night time. Roll your shoulder backwards. It helps to just release you stiffness in your spine and your legs. Let's go again. Breathe in and breathe out. The spine roll and let the head drop. Oh, it feels great. Breathe in at the end and breathe out. Roll up the spine. And when we are up, we just roll our shoulders backwards. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out the spine roll. And bending our knees. Don't worry about bending the knees. Still, you're stretching your hamstrings and your back. Breathe in at the bottom, everybody. And breathe out. Roll up your spine. Great. We stay up. We move our hands again behind the head. Open your elbows. Breathe in. Breathe out the stretch towards the right side. We take a deep breath. Breathe in. And back to center. Let's go other side. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Let's go towards to the side. Feel the stretch in your spine muscles and your back as well. And let's go again towards the left. Good. We're going to come back, drop our arms. We're going to open our legs a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to squat. And we're going to raise. And here we're going to press the toes and lift the heels just to keep our body warming up. I love to mix a strength and a stretch. So I like to mix a strength uh, exercises in my yoga classes because it's important to strength. That, uh, that will help us to build up a muscle's density. But the most important is... It helps us to warm up these exercises so it's more efficient our stretch. Let's keep going for four and raise. And let's go for a three. When you are coming up, try to press with your big toes to help you to lift the heels and have more stability. Let's go for two. Oh, it feels good. Up and just one more. And up. Great. We're going to move our legs together. We're going to breathe in. We're going to try to move forward with the back straight as far as you can. If you feel that your back is curving, just bend your knees to allow you to extend your back. We stay here halfway watching the ground so your neck's aligned with the spine. We take a deep breath. Breathe in. And we go forward, bend, drop our hands beside the feet. We can bend the knees to help us to go all the way. Breathe in to prepare. And breathe out, raise your torso. And strain with your back, take a deep breath. Breathe in. Feel your back straight so you can feel the stretch in your glutes. Forward, bend again. Bend in your knees, don't force your legs. Take a breath here, breathe in. And out. Hands back, chest, straight your back, push the way forward onto the ball of your feet and your toes. And again, forward bend. We keep doing this movement. Okay, need your tummy in. One more. Straight here, the back press with your toes and the ball of your feet. Keep your back straight. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. And now, let's go forward bend. This time we're going to drop the hands on the ground. I'm just going to move them backwards to allow me to move the right foot backwards, left foot backwards. Right, let's go on to all fours. On all fours, let's go cat and cow. So we go breathe in, cat stretch. Breathe out, arch in your back. It feels good, this. And let's go for the three. And out. And let's go for two. And out. And just one more. And out. Back onto neutral. We're going to curl the toes under. We're going to push our bum down onto our heels, stretching your toes, pressing with your hands so it will help us to push the weight backwards. We're going to hold here for three breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
Let's go for three. Important to stretch our toes. And let's go two. And just one more. We're back again on to all fours. I like the dolphin a lot because it helps us to warm up, but also it's going to give us the right position for the spine and the back for down dog. So we're going to come here, shoulders above your elbows. You can move your heels, your knees closer, curl the toes under, press your arms. Let's go on to down dog, pushing your tailbone upward. Remember, no force in the back of the leg. Let's hold four breath together. Breathe in. Anna. Let's go for three. Anna. Let's go two. Up. Just one more. Anna. Drop our knees back onto the ground. We move back again onto all fours. We're going to slide the right knee forward and we're going to keep the toes on the ground. We were doing that in the other classes just to keep stretching our, our feet. We can move our hands closer, place our feet under the shoulders, leave your tummy. But I want the release on the feet. Let's hold it here for four and three. Ah, to leave your tummy, to stretch your tummy. And just one more. We drop back again our hands onto the ground. Push yourselves all fours. We're going to change the legs. Left knee forward, press with your toes, sit back. You can keep your palms or you prefer your face under your shoulders. Lift your tummy. We hold here for four, stretching your tummy. Remember that sensation. Pull the pubic bone towards your belly button just to engage your lower tummy and your pelvic floor muscles. Let's go two more. Breathe in. And out. Only one more. And back again onto all fours. And from all fours, index fingers pointing forward, spread your fingers. We're just going to lift the knees tiny bit from the ground, slightly bend your elbows, just to build up a strength, keep us warm, to keep us stretching. Let's hold for four breath. Breathe in. You feel it's too much, you can calm down anytime. As you can see, it's just tiny bit, my knees off the ground. Let's go for two. And get your dummy. And the last one. Excellent, everybody. Drop your knees, move your right hand behind your head, and we turn towards to the right side. As far as it feels good for us, we hold here for four without forcing. And let's go three more breath. Breathe in. And let's go two. If that elbow doesn't open, as far as you can go. Now gently release and we're going to move the arm under the other one. Drop your shoulder on the floor. It's important that your shoulder is on the ground. Slide the left hand forward. Make sure that you press with your hand on the ground and gently with the other arm. So then the weight won't collapse on your head. We hold here for four. And let's go for three. And Let's go to Anna. Just one more. That's great, everybody. Bend your left arm. Push your body up. Back onto all fours. Let's go left hand behind your head. We turn towards the left as far as we feel good. We hold for four. And three. And two, and just one more. We release, we move our arm under. And remember, extend the other one if you feel comfy, but press with the hand and gently with the arm so the weight won't collapse on your head. Let's hold here for four. Breathe in and breathe out. Feels really good. Let's go for three and enjoy. Don't worry about flexibility. We're doing something fantastic for your muscles. Let's go one more breath in. And gently bend your arms, release your body. 
back again onto all fours. And I'm going to take again dolphin. Remember, if you want to correct especially your down dog position, go to our website and get that free assessment for you for the down dog. But today we're going to stay in dolphin just to be safe, everybody. Elbows on the ground, interlace your fingers, move your knees closer, lift your knees, extend your legs. We're going to stretch here, full breath. Breath in, and extending your back by pressing your arms on the ground and pushing your tailbone upwards. Let's go two more breath. Breath in, and out. Only one more, and out. Fantastic, everybody. Drop me your knees on the floor. Raise your torso. Move your feet back onto the floor. Lift your pelvis. Open your chest. It's no camel. It's just more to extend your thighs and open your chest. We hold here for four. And three. Open up, open up. Two. Last one. Oh, great, everybody. Release. Let's rest on child pose. Remember, you cannot go all the way onto your heels. Go as far as you can using your arms, but try to don't let the weight collapse on your head. Keep the weight moving backwards onto your heels. You can move your palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind your head. And we're just going to breathe here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. And we release. Well done, everybody. As it's the new year, and probably we're not moving too much our body in the last day, we're going to do some for our hips with mobility. So we're going to sit down. We're going to move our hands at the back. We're going to try to bend the right leg and rest the right ankle on the left knee, if it's possible. Okay, and in this position, we're just going to drop towards to the right side, left side. Take a breath here. Breathe in. Feel all the stretch in this part on your glutes. And then back to center. Let's go other side. Feel all that stretch. Take a deep breath. Both hands on the floor. And back. Let's go one more time. Toes to the side. Take a deep breath. Leave your chest. Breathe in. And out. Back to center. Drop toes to the other side. Open your chest. Take a deep breath. Fantastic. Now we're going to stay here. Move me your fingers forward. Drag the foot a little bit closer. Push the foot on your hands and we lift the pelvis as far as we feel good. Good, everybody. Don't force your body. Let's hold for four. And three. And two. Open up your chest. Just one more. Oh, this is fantastic to build up strength and also flexibility. Extend your left leg, everybody, and we drop this foot onto the ground. Use your right hand at the back to stretch your back, and we turn. Now, remember here, we can hook the leg. We can press against, but just be careful with this position. That your shoulder is not doing weird things, okay? Or also, you can catch your ankle, and then we just turn Keeping your back straight is important. So you use your back hand to push your pelvis forward, lift your chest, and straight your back. Let's move your face and your head all the way backwards. We hold four breath. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go two. Don't forget this food because sometimes we let it die, okay? So keep active that food and release, release your arm, release your leg. Let's go there. one. So left ankle rest onto the right thigh. We move the hands behind. This time the fingers can point in backwards or sideways. Bend your leg as far as you can go. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. We drop towards to the right side. We feel here the stretch. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. No pain, everybody. We never stretch with pain. Back to center. We drop it. Other side. Take a breath. Breathe in. And out. 
back to center and drop. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, open your chest. And out. Back to center. Let's go other side. Breathe in. Out. Back again. We just got the last one. Onto the side. Breathe in. And out. And back again. Other side. Breathe in. And out. Back to center. Move your fingers pointing forward. Push your foot on the ground. Lift your pelvis as far as you can go. Open your chest. We hold for four. And three. And two. And just one more. We release everybody. Fantastic. Extend the right leg. Drop the foot. Move the right left hand at the back to straight your back. Again, you can hug your knee or any other position. Just make sure that both shoulders, if you do it in this way, that your shoulder doesn't come up, okay? You keep your shoulders the same high. Or you can catch your ankle. We turn towards to the left. We hold for four. And three, lifting your chest. And two. Just one more. That's great, everybody. We release. We open our legs as far as good for us. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to lean forward. But first, we're going to lean forward with the legs bent and with your back straight. We're going to just hold here, keeping your back straight. And the sensation of here, you feel the stretch deeply. Let's hold for two deep breaths. Breathe in. And out. Oops, just one more. And out. We raise our torso. I just wanted to start to stimulate the inner thigh, and at the end, we're going to go the whole way. We're going to bend the left leg, drag your heel closer. We're going to turn our torso, and we're going to lean towards to the leg. If you feel that you cannot go too low, you can bend your knee, and that will help it to go a little bit lower and help it to hinge as well. You can keep this arm at the front, at the back, or holding your tie. Then we swing the left one at the top. We try to catch our foot if it's possible. You can keep your legs bent or you can keep your legs straight if it's comfortable for you. And we're just gonna hold here, moving our chest towards the ceiling. We hold for four. And uh, let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Now we raise our torso, move our arm at the back, we drop the foot, swing the hips, lift the pelvis, and we reach backwards, we stretch our arm as far as we can, but keep the foot flat on the ground. Let's hold for four, and three, and two, and last one. We release everybody, drop the pelvis, turn the legs to don't hurt the knee, and we release. Well done. Open me again your legs. We lean forward. We feel the stretch in the inner thigh. If you can keep the legs straight without pain and your back straight, fantastic. If not, we bend the knees. Let's hold here for four. Breath in. Engage your tummy even when we are stretching. Let's go for three. And two, and last one. Great, everybody. We raise our torso, bend your right leg. We turn, we lean. If we cannot go too low, that we are kind of high here, bend the knee, and it will help you to stretch your back, which is more important. The leg is still stretching, but with the leg bend, help us to hinge. Move the other arm over your head. If you can catch your feet, foot, Fantastic, and you stretch here the leg if it's possible, if not, keep it bent. We hold here for four. And three, make sure that you feel comfortable in the pose, that you don't copy the pose, that you know how it's going, the spine, the legs, the arms, everything, but you don't force the, the pose. This as far as you feel good. Now everybody, raise your torso.
And remember this part, we're going to move the hip so the foot can go on the ground. And then we use the foot and the lower leg or the other leg to lift the hips, stretch our tummy, arch in our tummy. We hold for four. And three. And two. Just one more. And gently, first we drop the hip, rotate the leg, and we drag the legs together. Well done. Hold the legs with your arms. We try to lift our feet, engage our tummy. We're going to breathe in, breathe out. We extend the leg and drop. Left, doesn't have to be too high. Gonna turn on the side so you can see me better. Right and down. Left and maybe just tiny. Remember, it doesn't matter how far we go, it's just to keep going. And little by little, your body will give up and you will have more mobility and flexibility. Uh, let's go. Let's go for one more. Keep your tummy in and release. Now we're gonna slide the feet forward. And we're just going to go forward bend. The same story. If we cannot hinge, we bend the legs so it will help us to reach our feet and completely forward bend. No, it doesn't matter. You have to bend your legs a lot. Don't worry about that. With the time, you will develop flexibility. But it's better to have the full hinge so you can engage and stretch your glutes and your back. We hold here, everybody, for four. And three. Two, and last one. And we raise our torso. Oh, it feels good. Roll your shoulders backwards. How you feel? Fantastic. And it just takes us a few minutes. Well done, everybody. Now, from here, I'm just going to move again onto all fours. I wanted to start, a sta uh, finish, sorry, a stand up. So let's back onto all fours. Let's go cat and cow just for the last part. Breathe in, cat. And breathe out, cow stretch. This feels fantastic. Let's go for the three. And out. Let's go two. And out. Oh, just one more. And out. Back onto neutral. Let's go down dog. Extend your legs. Remember, check our website, sacredbodystudio.ie, to help us to go have that free assessment of your down dog. Push your hands on the ground, press with your fingertips, extend your arms and push your tailbone backwards. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and out, extending our back. We can bend the knees, our heels can be off the ground. Let's go one more breath. Breathe in and out. And then we walk with our feet forward. Bend your knees if you have to in forward bend. Breathe in to prepare and breathe out. Roll up your spine. Oh, this is great. It feels fantastic. Give me your arms down to roll your shoulders backward. Open your chest. Well done, everybody. Let's take the last three breaths to finish the class. If you want to repeat the whole routine, just uh, click on the chapter and you bring you to the beginning of the routine. Hands prayer position, breath in, arms up. Breathe out, we drop the arms. Let's breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in and one more. Breathe in and out. Well done, say well done to yourself, clap, clap to yourself because you are doing this. And we're starting the year, so remember every week, every Thursday, we do have a new YouTube video here in our channel, but also you want to follow our online classes, go to our website and check our courses. We go for beginners to experience in yoga and Pilates. So thank you so much for joining me join me <laughs> and we we'll see you in the next video and i wish you all the best for the next year thank you for supporting us and remember to subscribe like leave your emoji and lots of good energy positive energy for you and just keep it in your mind that this year is gonna be positive 
and negative, both. And we're accepting that. And we're going to be fine. Take care and see you in the next video.